So we'll do today the uh, Earth Gospel Morning Prayer for Thursday of week one. And uh, this is an excellent book by Sam Hamilton Poor. If you don't have a copy already, please consider getting one. Uh, and uh, after a few moments of quiet, I'll begin with an opening from Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals and the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, and everything that has breath of life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. The Other Voices the first is taken from the Presbyterian Church in the United States from Restoring Creation for Ecology and Justice. The fundamental claim that the earth is God's creation means that those who acknowledge the claim are bound to relate to the natural world with respect and care. God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. The creation has value simply because it is God's creation. And people who understand themselves as God's people cannot treat carelessly or destructively God's world in which God delights. Second passage is from Sally McFaig. The message of Genesis is not domination, but appreciation. 
We, who the text says are made in God's image, ought to reflect God's attitude towards nature, appreciation. Thank you both. And a prayer for today from the Evangelical Reformed Churches in German-speaking Switzerland. Lord, you love life. We owe our existence to you. Give us reverence for life and love for every creature. Sharpen our senses so that we shall recognize the beauty and also the longing of your creation. And as befits your children, treat our fellow creatures of the animal and plant kingdoms with love as our brothers and sisters in readiness for your great day when you will make all things new. And a blessing for today from Ray Simpson of the community of Aden and Hilda. God bless the earth that is beneath us, the sky that is above us, the day that lies before us, your image deep within us. Amen.